Hi guys, it's Coffee Date Thursday. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you have been following me for a while, then welcome back. Um, so this is actually the first Coffee Date Thursday that I wanted to do with my new mug. Um, Gentle Thrifty Mama actually sent it to me with through a box swap that we did for Mother's Day. And I'll link it here, or here, whichever way it comes up. I think it's this way. Um, and uh, so that you can see the unboxing. But I'm so sad. Okay, first, this mug is absolutely amazing. These are my three words that I'm kind of living by as a motto, for lack of a better term, for 2016. And she made it for me. How cool is that? But I'm so, so sad. I tried drinking out of it. And I thought maybe I was just being, like, clumsy in my drinking out of it. There is, like, a hairline. I don't know if you can you probably not see it in there. There's like this hairline, oh, maybe a little bit, um, not even fracture, but just the, it's it's been compromised. I think it was just in the shipping to get the box to me, and so it very slowly kind of just drips, and I'm so sad that it, oh, I, I, I almost cried, okay? This is how sad I was about this, but I have a plan. I have a plan as to how I'm going to keep this mug so that is it is forever and ever and ever <laughs> um, because I was just so pleased to open this and to see this and she made it for me and I just I'm keeping it stay tuned for an upcoming video as to what I do with this mug because it's perfect anyway so for today's Coffee Date Thursday, I am going to use my friend's mug again. I've, I've used it in a couple other Coffee Date Thursdays. Um, a girlfriend of mine gave it to me at Christmas time, and there's a whole, but it's so hot. There's some lovely words here as well, and I just have some of my um, my chai in it. I, I get um, the same, as I call it, chai goo. Um, but it's the syrup that's used at Starbucks and I get it at Walmart and I make my own chai. So we take a sip and then we'll start for today. Ah, okay. So today's prompt for Coffee Date Thursday is what being a mother has taught me. Um, I'm not sure if I can actually articulate this. Um... How about this? I was career oriented, workaholic, you know, wore suits to work almost every single day and loved, loved my career. Um, it was a very demanding career, very, very long hours, um, very stressful, but I enjoyed the stress that came as part of it. Then I had babies. <laughs> then I had my twins. And I mean, even when I was pregnant, it was always, you know, one, knock me out during my labor and delivery because I don't want to feel any of that. Um, and then two, you know, like I'll be back at work as fast as I can heal after I've healed afterwards. And that's the end of it. But then I got pregnant and yeah all that kind of changed um it was not an overnight change i will say that um but the reality of the situation of trying to find child care for two babies one was just it was astronomically expensive um but I just, I didn't want to leave, you know? I didn't want to go away from these cute little babies that, you know, I had somehow created and brought into this world. And, I mean, especially being an adoptee, okay? I myself am adopted. Um, and although, like, my family, you can't tell, for lack of a better term, that I'm adopted unless you see my brother and I, because my brother and I looked horrible totally different and um, I mean he's like brown hair brown eyes and like Mediterranean type of coloring and so he he looks like our mom right because she's similar coloring and then my 
our dad and I look quite a, a lot alike because he's fair skinned, has a little bit of freckles, blue eye. So when you stick all four of us together, we kind of work. My brother and I, not so much. But what was interesting when I was pregnant was because I'm adopted, because my brother is adopted, um, and we have no biological connection, my mom, our mom, has actually never been, never had a baby. So she's never been pregnant. She, you know, it just didn't happen. And so my mom, it was pretty cool. It was like a real bonding thing for us in a different way from other mother and daughters have, I think, um, where she signed up for all the same websites as I did. And she's like, can you believe that they're the size of like a walnut of the size of a, you know? And so she was learning about the pregnancy that I was experiencing along with me which was so, so cool. And she thought it was interesting that, you know, her friends didn't have that, um, that knowledge when they were pregnant because there was no internet, there was no, you know, none of that. And so she thought it was so interesting and so amazing to be able to learn along with me. Um, and just, you know, to have that different type of bond with my mom that other others of my friends have had. It was pretty special. Um, and just, I mean, can you really put into words what it's like to be a mom? Like, there is no other reason on the planet that I would have stopped my career. <laughs> There's absolutely no other reason. Um, my son being diagnosed with autism um, all of his different therapies that he needed and all the appointments that he had and my marriage breaking down and you know all this stuff like all of his appointments were kind of gearing up and my marriage was falling apart and all this stuff and I just I couldn't work outside the home anymore um, there just wasn't the time to be able to do that and thankfully financially I've been able to kind of manage with different uh, other opportunities and funding from governments and and in specifically for my son's disability um, but you know it still amazes me six years later that I'm actually a stay-at-home mom this is a weird thing in my world like nobody that knew me growing up even believe that I'm a stay-at-home mom because that's so not who I was to the core. I was a workaholic. Like, you know, a 60-hour week was a small week for me. Usually it was 70, 75. At t tough times it was 80. Like, and for me to now be a stay-at-home mom, I mean, I do a lot of volunteering, especially within the autism community, and I give, I try to give back as much as I can. Um but my son's needs and his diagnosis of autism just it couldn't happen and because of him being for lack of a better term severe on the autism spectrum it's really hard one to find qualified child care and two to be able to trust that child care i mean if you follow this channel you know and I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, I've sugar-coated a lot of it, um, but you know that he is a very, very strong little boy. <laughs> he is very tall. He's five feet something now. He's got to be because he just finished another growth spurt. Um, and the last time I measured him, he was about five feet tall. And he's got to be, he's about 115 pounds now at 10 years old. And he has broken many of my bones. He's twisted my joints. He's, you know... And I'm not a small girl. I'm 5'10". You know, I'm not some little five foot tall nothing, um, you know, or nothing, no weight to me or anything like that. So it's hard for me to be able to trust somebody to, one, look after him, and two, for him to not hurt them. Um, so I just, I never knew... You know, everybody, everybody says the same thing. You don't know how much you can love until you have a child. Whether it's through birth or adoption, it doesn't matter. Um, and 
like, how do you put that into words? You can't. Being a mother has taught me absolutely everything. It has taught me how much patience I have. It has also taught me how much little things bug me beyond belief. Like, don't get me started when the Play-Doh colors get, get mushed together. I never knew that this was a huge pet peeve of mine, you know? Um, I never understood why there was this, like, mommy shaming thing. Because you know what? My kids, my body, that's the end of it. You know? Like, I will do what is best for my family, as should you. There. There's my soapbox. Um, I never knew how tired I could be, and yet how much I could get done when I'm that tired. Like, there's so many opposite ends of the spectrum for everything related to being a parent and I mean I tell my yes okay my son has autism and yes it's challenging on some days but my kids make it so easy to be a to be a mom um there's just yeah I mean like I can't wait to watch everybody else's videos for this for Coffee Date Thursday because I can't wait to see how other people try to put this into words. There's just, there's no, there's no feeling like it. And if nothing else, they have taught me just how limitless love, devotion, and just yeah, I don't even know what other word to use. Love and devotion can be. It's it's unconditional love. And I didn't think that that would overcome, for lack of a better term, where I was in my career. I didn't think that anything else would be more important to me than my former career. So, boy, was I wrong. <laughs> And I mean, I only had a little taste of it when we first got married because he, you know, my ex-husband has a daughter from a previous relationship and she's my oldest. Um, I don't like referring to her as my stepdaughter. She's just, she's my oldest, you know, and having her over every other weekend and, and one night during the week as well. You know, I, I was a mom part-time, but not really a mom. Um... But since my divorce and being able to really nurture that relationship, she is my oldest. She is, you know, and it's no disrespect to her mother at all. I do not take any of that away. My cat just dropped a, bo a book off the bookshelf. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if you heard that. Um, because her mom is her mom and that will never change. But she's also part of our family. You know, when people ask me how many children I have, I say three. She is part of our family, and she always will be. And, you know, Christmases still happen at my parents' place as well, and their grandpa and Noni for her, and yeah. So there's my babbling for this week's Coffee Date Thursday um, about what being a mother has taught me. Basically that I can babble a lot and love them beyond anything else on this planet. <laughs> anyway, happy Mother's Day, everyone. Bye.